to Egypt, where we meet the inspirational 29-year-old Mena Essam, who lost her sight gradually for years before being declared blind two years ago. That has not stopped her from taking up archery, a sport that relies heavily on sight, and going on to win plenty of medals. Our correspondent Adele Mahrui talked to Mena and brings us her uplifting story. During the past 10 years, Minna Assam lost her father, mother, and her sight. The tragic series of events brought her and her three sisters closer than ever. Wherever they go, the girls surround 29-year-old Minna as a defensive squad, yet they always push her to become stronger. I believe in the Islamic figure Omar bin al-Khattab Singh, teach your children swimming, archery, and horseback riding. So my sisters took me to the club to learn equestrianism. They saw that the club also offered archery. I was so excited, but at the same time, didn't know if it would work. I've learned so many things when I became blind, so I went to ask the coach if I could learn. I knew she had the will, and that is very important in an athlete. To me, it was a new challenge to make a woman with a visual impairment not only shoot like someone with sight, but to excel. Instead of aiming at the target with the eyes, we had to depend on the sense of touch. Menna has retinitis pigmentosa, a disease that doesn't show until the teen or adult age. She became completely blind two years ago. Astonishingly, it was an eye-opening experience for her. With her unbreakable will, she took on filming and acted in the first Egyptian movie created by people with visual impairment. She learned braille reading and how to use technology to become independent. When doctors said she won't be able to go out at night, Menna became nocturnal, saving all her activities to night time. I've had so many negative comments. Some would tell me, don't waste your energy. Go for another activity which blind people are already doing. I don't like when people tell me what I can or cannot do. It's impossible for impossibility to exist. Archery has become her life, and she's smashing records by being the first blind person in Egypt to practice the sport bringing to life training techniques that never existed in the country before. Mena is now a national champion. So far, she won seven medals, among them two gold, and her dreams are just getting bigger. Like all of us who supported Morocco in the World Cup semifinals, I want to represent Egyptians, Arabs and Africans and win a gold medal in the World Games. Blind archery is not in the Paralympics until we make it so. That's the best dream there is, to get a gold in the Blind World Games in England. An athlete with sight exerts a lot of effort in training and little time in preparation. For Mena, it's the other way around. She needed a lot of time to prepare for holding the ball. She responds very well to our shooting comments, and that made us want to speed up her international exposure. What Mena Assam may not realize is that with her persistence, she is building the infrastructure that may serve many people in her condition making them able to enjoy a sport many people think is exclusive to athletes who can see. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.